since 2002. We have created excellence, excellence. together. Passion is real. Connection. Connection is real. The ROH experience, experience is real. Welcome to Ring of Honor Wrestling. Honor is real. Satoshi Kojima lock up with Homicide in the third encounter of four between the Ring of Honor and All Japan Stars. Damn, I'm good. That was a pretty decent introduction there. God, what can I do? Seriously, seriously, if I can't do it, it can't be done. I guess you could do it all. You're already victorious tonight. Look at the mood you're in. I don't know why, but as we see Kojima and Homicide squaring off here, as this is possibly Homicide's most important match here in Ring of Honor, and look at Kojima drawing with Julius, the devil's son-in-law, Smokes there. And it looks like Chris Levy's here to join us. Chris Levy's back. Well, I'm just back for a second because I'm going back into the crowd. It's just electric in this building. What a chop by Homicide. But anyways, I'm here for a quick scoop. You saw Loki in the corner of Homicide. You're probably asking yourself, what the hell's going on here? No, but go ahead. I'm sure you're going to tell us. I will tell you what happened earlier today. Loki, who is still out with injury, he had a sit-down with Homicide. He showed his trainer, Homicide, the proper respect. The two made up. The Ring of Honor told Homicide, hey, bring out in your corner whoever you want for this match. Homicide wanted Loki and Monster Mac, corner of the hit squad, in his corner for this match. It's great seeing Loki and Homicide showing, showing the respect to each other again. That's Homicide hitting the ropes there. And Punk, I all, right, all right, are you here to commentate? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going back in the crowd. This is great, but Punk, I gotta say, I can't, I can't believe what kind of a, a subdued mood you're in after what happened with the prophecy in the first half of the show. I was telling, uh, I was telling Ray over here earlier. I'm just a big teddy bear. I know what happened to Lucy now. I know exactly who I have to hurt. So it's them who should be worried, not me. As homicide goes for the prettiest dive in pro wrestling, in my opinion, at least. Kojima. Kojima takes a breath. Can you leave now, please? Seriously. Uh, I think I am going to leave. And of course, you're no stranger to Homicide. What a great match you guys had at Round Robin Challenge 2. I'll leave it at that. It's just great to see Homicide and Loki together again. Take it away, Ray. Well, thank you for that information, Lovey. As you see Kojima making friends with the fans here in Philadelphia. And the fans really getting behind Kojima here. You know, I think uh, the All Japan Superstars are going to get on their plane to go home to Japan, and they're going to find that Kojima's still in Philadelphia. It's possible. Look at him. He loves it here. He's almost as over as Philadelphia's favorite son, Rocky, with the reaction he's getting here by the fans here. Have you ever seen a, an outside competitor here in Ring of Honor getting such a reaction, Punk? Certainly not. As Homicide goes for a go-behind, Kojima powering his way out. And what an important match for both these guys, but especially now for Kojima, All Japan down 0-2. This is a must-win situation for Satoshi Kojima. It certainly is. And Homicide with a nice reversal there. You said earlier it was the Homicide's biggest match in Ring of Honor. Dare I say this is Homicide's biggest match in his career. Well, you might be right there. I think you're right. And a nice kick there. He's staying on Kojima's arm now. He's got to stay on him. Because Kojima, he can hit you, he can level you out of nowhere. This man is definitely one of the most powerful men in professional wrestling, not in Japan, but throughout the whole world. This guy is a monster. Well, look at the size difference between these two men, though. Once they're on their feet, I mean, obviously, right now, look at the size difference. There's probably about a 50-pound size differential there. Well, that's something that Homicide has to contend with. And what is going on between Kojima and Spokes? Did you even just tell him to suck it? I don't even know what to call on that one there, Punk. Julius Smokes is definitely a character, isn't he? That's right. If Kojima's ever experienced anybody quite like him, I don't think so. Certainly not. 
As these, these two guys go for a test of strength, but Kojima with two big kicks to the abdomen and a devastating shot fouled by another. But Homicide, these guys hit each other tooth and nail. Oh, thumb to the eye. And look at Homicide. He's mad. He's almost more mad that he didn't think of it first. I was talking earlier about the size difference. But the size of Homicide's heart is no, no different than Kojima's. That's why this makes his match so much interesting. You're exactly right about that. What a year it's been for Homicide. As Kojima has Homicide in the corner, going for a face wash. He doesn't understand. Wait a minute, what does he mean? He, he doesn't understand. He's Japanese, he just spoke English, punk. Yeah, exactly, but the point is that they count, they count in English in Japan anyway. Pro wrestling is pretty universal here. I think Kojima's trying to pull one over the, pull the wool over the eyes of referee Paul Turner right there and the fans here. He Reed thinks Honor. homicide's stupid because he's Puerto Rican. That's what's going on. What? Here. What does that have to do with it? I, I didn't, it's not me. It's Kojima. And look at these stiff chops. This is strong style wrestling at its finest. These two are still just feeling each other out. Feeling each other out. They're leveling each other, punk. Look at these right hands. It's going to break his jaw. And Homicide returns the thumb to the eye right there. Nicely done. Oh! And I think Homicide, the notorious 187, could be a little pissed off here. You know, some guys would get in the ring with a. Uh, a, a, a wrestler of the caliber of Kojima would be a little bit, uh, maybe tentative. Not Homicide. No, not at all. He's going full throttle right here, and we could have a German suplex. Homicide's on his feet. Drop kick. And he caught him right in the jaw. Kojima's to the floor. Here we go. What a beautiful suicide tope. Listen to this crowd. I can't get enough of it. The fans of Philadelphia rising to their feet. What incredible action we are seeing. And Kojima, he could be in a little trouble. This is Homicide's domain on the floor. As Kojima just met the Royal. Well, wait a second. Oh! Belly to belly. He landed on top of his head on the concrete. Referee right in there. He's out. He's Oh, look at, look at Homicide, go back to him. He could be glassy, look at that. The refs kind of check him, right? Yeah, I don't think Homicide, he quite knows where he's at. Is he even conscious? And Kojima taking a picture. And Kojima toying with the crowd a little bit, but, but this isn't a toying situation. This is very serious. Homicide, did you see the impact that his head hit the concrete? He's slow to his feet. Look how slow he's moving. And I've seen Homicide take some unbelievable moves, especially throughout this year, 2003, and he gets right back up. Paul Turner's got to make a judgment call on this one. Homicide is groggy. I have never seen Homicide down from a move quite like that. He's groggy, I don't think he has his wits with him. He could be knocked unconscious. He could be knocked out on his feet, punk. Yeah, but he surprised me right there with... Well, you he's said it. Slow. He's slow down. Very slow, he's still got that heart. He could be running on instinct, as he might be going for a desperation face wash. He hits his running shining wizard in the corner. And Kojima looks like he's rocked, but look, Homicide's down, you're right. This could be a serious situation. Paul Turner's, got, Paul Turner's got to check his eyes. Homicide. He's got a, he, he's got a concussion. He's using those ropes to get look. He couldn't even get a full snap mare right there. As did you see when he snapped mare at him, he dropped right to his knees. I don't think Homicide has been like fully erect on his feet. There he goes. He's back to his feet. He's back up. Look at that. There doesn't seem to be a lot of strength behind that choke. 
He yeah, I think the he ball. definitely got knocked for a loop, but he's still in the fight. Homicide's not going to give up. No, not at all. No, definitely not. Desperation boot right there. I don't think he should go to the top. Well, he didn't. He's, he's trying to win this match. He needs to. He needs to get this over real quick. And I'll tell you what, if you're at a disadvantage, I wouldn't want to be in the ring with Kojima. Certainly not. Oh! Oh, this bodes to be very bad for Homicide right here. He's out. And Kojima down in the top rope. And he scores with the elbow. Yeah, it does not look good for Homicide at this point. Two and a half, he kicks out. And that weight advantage, definitely an advantage on a move like that, driving that elbow right into the head of Homicide. And he's already groggy. Yeah, I think the referee maybe should be checking him out. Punk, this doesn't look good here. Homicide is down. And again with the boot. What you go for? Swinging DDT. Almost on instinct, though. Two and a half, not enough. He's somewhere else right now. He's. It's hard to explain. It's just, 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 just from watching Homicide in the ring for so long, uh, he's not even moving like Homicide. We've seen him come back from so much this year, but this is definitely different. Oh, oh! Once again on his head. He's normally so quick. He couldn't even brace for that impact there as his head took the brunt of that as it snapped. Did you see that? And Kojima's calling for the Larry. Oh, if he hits this. Did you know that Kojima was taught the lariat by Stan the Man Hansen? No, I did not know that. Yeah, see? You think you know everything. Who's a genius? I am. Thank you very much. That's some good information there. And Kojima waiting for Homicide to get to his feet. Homicide's in a, in a different world right now. Maybe he should just stay down. I don't know. He and catches it. He's got him hooked. DDT there. I think he's going for the ace crusher, but Kojima too big. There he is. That's a move Kojima likes to use a lot, too. Calls it the Koji Cutter. Wow, Punk, you're full of the information now. Pretty impressed here. I'm the smartest man alive, Raymond. Possibly. I don't know. You're showing me a lot, though. Plus, you want to know, and you, you want to match for Ring of Honor, so I cannot deny you tonight. Oh, there's some good looks. There's the Koji Cutter. The Koji Cutter rocking homicide. And Kojima is all business here in ROH. Homicide still got it in him. But not much on that kick out. He still wants to win. Uh-oh, and he's taking off that elbow pad. This could be that Lariat. Homicide in a whole hell of a lot of trouble here, Punk. He's got a duck. He boots the arm. And he hits his own Koji Cutter. He's going back to the fundamentals. What works? Homicide with a desperation Koji Cutter right there. Look at the leg. That's still not enough. Homicide doesn't have his wits about him to capitalize on this. And the fans trying to get this action. I think that they sense that Homicide's in a whole lot of trouble. And their feet. Oh, what a lariat that was. Oh, and he, he got a kick out. Homicide kicked out of Koji. Wow, I can't believe he kicked out. I mean, he's running on pure instinct, Punk. I don't know if that's the smartest maneuver to do, but so much on the line here. And another Lariat. Almost like an axe crusher there. And that's it. Satoshi Kojima is victorious.